What's up guys, this is Mike, and I am bringing you a squad builder on FIFA 13. And before I get into things, I'm just going to say I am sorry for not uploading for the past, like, two weeks, because my sister, she's in college and everything, and she has to do huge projects, and one of those projects required my computer, because her computer cannot handle it. So she needed my really good computer here to, um, uh, run all her software, and she, I, I guess she's almost done, but, uh, I, this is like my only free time I have, and I wanted to squeeze this video in, so right now, um, I'll be getting to it right now. Here we are. Keep in mind, this squad is very expensive. Well, not very expensive. Nothing over a million yet, but, um, this squad does go for almost 500k. It happens to go for 462,000 coins exact, but, yeah, 462 coins exact, pretty much, and here we go. So now in that we have none other than the inform Julio Cesar. And by the way, this is a Brazilian and a La Liga uh, hybrid. So yes, um, La Liga Brazilian hybrid. And uh, here we go. And by the way, the fun part about this hybrid is that it doesn't have any red lines to it. So some hybrids you see they have red chemistry lines because it's like a hybrid they don't get chemistry but this one has absolutely no red chemistry lines but yeah Julio Ce Julio Cesar 115k I bought him for uh, 3 star for week foot he's left footed 6-1 and 86 diving 86 reflexes 85 positioning 81 handling but bad thing is 68 kicking no one cares about the speed but I must say this guy has got to be one of the best goalkeepers or yeah, one of the best informed goalkeepers in the game and also probably the best Brazilian goalkeeper in the game because even his regular card I could have just bought for a few K is absolutely beast but I wanted to get that extra informed magic in there because I know informed cards are always better than their normal cards at least some of them at least including this one so that's why I got that inform. Our left center back is none other than Mr. Day Day here, and Day Day goes for around 5.2k in the 41212, and he has 81 pace and 81 defense. Um, he's 6'4 too, so that's really good for a tall guy. Um, he's right footed. Also, I, it's just his pace, his defense, and his heading. His heading is just amazing. He scores corners easily without even trying pretty much and the best part about it as like I said is he is pacey our left back here is none other than Marcelo and Marcelo goes to around 37k yeah roughly around there with three star skills three star weak foot 5 8 83 pace 80 defense 83 dribbling 80 passing 70 heading um Simply, simply, simply one of the best left backs in the game. Um, I could have went with the cheap, or not really that cheap, but uh, alternative with uh, Jordi Alba. But uh, the only difference is that Jordi Alba has more pace and but less defense. But I chose to go Marcelo because he is he is part of my favorite team uh, ever. And uh, yeah, he's just Marcelo, and he's pretty strong too. Jordi Alba may be quick, but he doesn't have the strength of Marcelo. So, yeah, he always kicks people off the ball. It's running up the wing, but our right center back, best defender in the game by far, Mr. Thiago Silva, 82 pace, 88 defense, 82 heading. Simply the best defender in the game. I picked him up for 153,000 coins. Way worth it. Way worth it. Um, simply great. He's good. He's he's decent on uh, corners. You don't really find him there because uh, the man that we're going to be finding up in corners is actually one of my strikers. And, uh... Simply just amazing pace, amazing defense, decent heading. Definitely the best defender in the game. Next, as I think this is probably one of the set, probably the second best defender in the game is the expensive Brazilian Mr. Danny Alves. Danny Alves, hundred and sixty-seven thousand coins. Probably one of the most expensive players I've ever paid for in this game. Second most, actually. Uh, most I actually paid for was the Team of the Year PK, but I sold him off. Um, he might make his return soon, but until then, he is the most expensive player on this team. With 90 pace, 72 shot, 72 shot on a right back. Absolutely outstanding. 81 pace, 83 dribbling, 79 defense, 72 heading. And the best part about it, 4 star skills. So I can basically... 
do tricks. With, I can basically do Benzema tricks in the defense if I felt like it, which is pretty stupid because you, you sometimes you get the ball taken away from you and it's an easy goal for them. But if he's running up the wing and I want to score with you, basically just p turn on the dance moves and he'll sh and he'll score. Because look at that 72 shot. That's basically as that that's basically if he had six more pace, that's a Walcott right there. That's better than a Walcott. But Danny Alves, probably the second best defender in the game. Just amazing. Simply amazing. Pacey, defense is great. Shots great. Everything about him is just great. Okay. Now get into the CDM here. He's kind of an odd, very odd choice of a CDM. But the only guy that would give the, um, the only guy that would give uh, yellow bars to the Brazilians and the La Liga. And that is Mr. Kaká. Not fit to be a CDM, but he always runs up and uh, goes into the attack because he does have a high attacking work rate. Um, really, don't need a CDM to got a guy to fall back for uh, my Brazilian defense because they're always over, they're already overpowered as it is. 9.8k I paid for him with four star skills, four star weak foot, 73 pace, 81 shot, 81 passing, 85 dribbling. Um, just great. His long shots amazing. I love it so much. Um, scores a lot for me actually. Uh, it says he only has one goal score, but I rebuilt. I've built and rebuilt this squad so many times. When I've had this squad for quite a while, he has had a lot of goals for my team. Just amazing! What a player. Um, left mid, we have David Villa, and as you can see here, he's injured. Let's see if I have something to. Oh, only at one match, but let's see if I have anything to heal him up here cuz I don't want him to look injured um, no unfortunately I don't I just have a bunch of uh, contract cards and some other stuff but yeah that would be up 79 pace 87 shot 85 dribbling 74 passing 72 heading not that great on the passing and heading traits but 85 dribbling 87 shot uh, like most of you probably look at his pace and be like 79 pace, but then you look at his shot and that just turns your mind around because look at that shot 87 shot just amazing his finishing is great. His finishing actually comes above Benzema and a uh, few other great strikers so just amazing amazing player never fails any shot inside the box is taken and scored for me um, I would recommend Putting him in a left wing, I had to put him in a left mid here because um, it's either him or Iniesta basically. And I tried and I chose to go to cheap alternative and get him. His lowest buy now in 41212 left mid was 12k, which was quite surprising because I can get him in left wing 433 for like 5k. But 41212, very popular formation, the best in the game. But five star weak foot, four star skill moves, just amazing, amazing play. I don't know why he doesn't go for like 100k because I would definitely spend 100k on a player like him. Our right mid here is, um, if you already guessed it, yes, it is Jesus Navas. Um, 92 pace, 73 shot, 86 dribbling, 80 passing. Great player. Um, he hasn't really, he scored a lot for me, actually. I've had, I've had, like, a block with this guy, and he hasn't scored for me. Like, he, I just can't get this guy to score for me sometimes, and, but, um, if you just get inside the box of him, like, he doesn't have any shot power. He's, mo it's mostly the finishing behind this guy, but, um, great stats. All around, very pacey, so he runs up the wing a lot, and uh, either he either passes it off to the striker, or he gets fancy and goes in on his own. Just uh, make sure if you're using him, not make him take shots with his weak foot, because look at that weak foot, three star skills out of five. I mean, three star weak foot out of five. Um, I would definitely uh, actually recommend getting a uh, Di Maria, but I chose to go to the cheap alternative. Yes, Di Maria has a lower um, weak foot, but... Demery is a lefty, so he and he's on the right side, so it really makes up for itself. Here you can see Jesus is a righty and is on the right side, which honestly I don't really like that, but I chose to go to cheap alternative and I'm glad because I just love this guy. Our cam, we have Modric, and I could have gotten Xavi or someone like that or someone in that range, but um, I chose to go to cheap alternative of instead of paying 60k, I went 3.7k, saved myself a lot of money. And he has four star skills or four and four star weak foot, 78 pace, 73 shot, 86 passing, 87 dribbling. If I were the designer of this game, I would have gave this man five star skills because look at that dribbling stat. He's just a simply amazing. Th four star skill moves. And he always he, he scores a lot for me basically inside the, anything inside the box even outside the box he scores great goals for me. This man is just amazing and definitely recommended for any type of uh, 
uh, squad looking for a great uh, any kind of guy looking for a great La Liga player right here Modric Ooh. now our left striker is man that like I said mentioned earlier can take headers amazingly on corners and that is Radamel Falcao Garcia Zarate Wow <laughs> 78 pace 83 shot 90 heading 90 heading I think he's just below Vidic in the heading for non informs this guy is just amazing great finisher he's not the kind of guy that's gonna burst through defense like a Messi or something he's the kind of guy that gets the ball past to him and he just takes a great shot and finishes it long shot just amazing not, and his corners just amazing I love this guy one of the best strikers I've used and uh, next to Benzema and Di Natale um, now our right striker as you probably saw when I was selecting Falcao is Benzema Second best striker in the game for me, at least, um, next to uh, Di Natale. I haven't used Ibrahimovic yet, so he might take, um, Benzema might take third place. And uh, Ibrahimovic might take first, but Benzema here is four-star uh, week for four-star skill moves. Great right there. Um, born him in 30.5k, 30, 30. um, 30,500, why did I even say that? But 85 pace, 83 shot, 84 dribbling. Great stats. Great, great stats all around for a striker of this caliber. Ooh, my bad, I burped. I just had something neat, but um, 85 pace, 83 shot, clinical finisher right here. He never fails me, except for a few times. You just have to make sure his morale is uh pretty decent, as you can see, he has very high morale right now. But um, even at high or uh medium, or what do they call it, neutral, he does decent. But um, if you have him low morale, he'll do terrible. Just letting you know. Just keep him at just keep him at a decent morale, and he will do absolutely amazing, phenomenal, phenom. I can't even talk today. I'm sorry, but um, my mouth is a bit frozen from being outside doing track. But um, yes, great player all around, solid stats, and yeah, that's this is the squad. Four hundred and sixty-two thousand coins. Um, I could. I'm actually thinking about upgrading the squad, like maybe team of the year Marcelo. Uh, definitely not team of the year, but it's too much money. Um. We can probably change you into Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, team of the week, Falcao. Not team of the year. Team of the year is way too much money. Um, I can turn you into team of the week, uh, Ozil. I can turn you into team of the week, uh, Di Maria. I can turn this team into a great team. But, um, yeah, that's that's basically the team. 72 rated without any subs on the bench. If I add subs, it can be like an 87 rated team. But... Yeah, that's the squad. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys later. Sorry, oh yeah, just before I leave, I'm sorry I didn't have any goals. Um, I just basically made this squad because I had a lot of money, and I decided to buy the squad and make a uh, video off of it. And I used it for a little bit, and just great goals. I wasn't recording because, like I said, my computer was taking over. So, next squad builder, if I can fit some goals in, I will definitely put some goals in. I'm going to be doing cheap squad builders next, like budget builders, and, uh, yeah, there's, they're really, uh, cheap squads, but this one, probably my, probably going to be my last expensive squad for a while, at least, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.